Hi, I'm Jonathan Moxie. I'm the head brewer at Rockwell Beer Company, and I'm here with Craft Beer and Brewing's Tip of the Week. For most of our beers, we're shooting for like the 20 to 40 IBU range, and that's for a beer that is anywhere from 3 to 5% alcohol. We don't go much below 20 IBUs unless we're doing one of our quick sour beers. We want a firm bitterness behind it, regardless of the ABV. To have that bigger hop flavor and not necessarily have uh, the bitterness that can come along with it, what we're focusing on are Lake Kettle and Whirlpool addition, as well as staggered dry hopping additions during fermentation. By uh, doing smaller charges in the beginning, typically we're doing a first wort hop, which is in my opinion, producer of a finer bitterness. It's a little more well integrated and you also get a bit of the hop character there. It's not just bitterness in the finished beer, but most of it is coming after 15 minutes or during the whirlpool. If you're doing this at home, you're gonna be wanting to agitate the beer after the boil or during cooling. In my homebrew days, what I would do is while I had my immersion chiller in the beer, I would add the hops after taking a sanitized spoon and really stirring to get a good vortex going in my kettle. And with that, you're keeping the spoon fully submerged so you're not whipping up the beer, which could lead to hot side aeration, but you still wanna have you know, a good vortex going in there to really get the most of your hops, make sure that they're not sinking to the bottom and uh, they're getting well incorporated. To learn more about brewing flavorful, low alcohol beers, click on the link below.